Before we start, be sure to like the video, drop a comment, and of course subscribe to the channel if you dig the summary. The movie begins sometime in the 1980s. Three people, who happen to be in a rock band called Figs and Dates, are relaxing and playing music on a beach in Poland. The bass player is playing his guitar and singing a song, as the female lead singer and the male drummer are smoking and dancing around a tin barrel. Just several meters from the shore, a blonde mermaid peeks her head above the water to observe the band of three playing and having fun. Seconds later, her sister, a dark-haired mermaid, puts her head above the water to watch with her. The blonde mermaid watches the three people in fascination. After the bass player finishes playing, the two sea maidens begin singing a song, enchanting the two men as if they are in a trance. The bassist and the drummer begin motioning to the ocean where the two mermaids are. The blonde mermaid begins to extend her arms as the two of them sing. The two men move closer and extend their arms as well, to try to reach out to the two sirens. Suddenly, the lead singer screams in horror as she spots the two mermaids by the sea. Not long after, Figs and Dates perform at their regular gig at a nightclub owned by an old house manager. The lead singer sings a song as the manager watches and greets his usual customers. He notices a different smell and begins looking around. He asks their bouncer about it, but since the guard has a cold and could not smell anything, the boss instructs him to stay at home and not spread the cold around the club. The bouncer nods his head and the boss walks away. The old house manager looks around the club and then proceeds to the kitchen. He asks the cook about the weird smell. The woman dances along with the song and tells her boss that they are cooking there, so she has no idea what the smell is. As the boss walks away, the people inside the kitchen continue dancing freely. The manager walks to the dressing rooms and encounters two of the waiters also dancing on the beat. He makes his way to the dressing room of the band. He hears people laughing inside and begins to open the door. Unable to open it as it is locked, he uses his keys and the door swings oh open, no! revealing the two sirens, transformed as regular girls. The two girls, wearing the drummer's coat and the bassist's leather jacket, are startled upon seeing the old man. Not long after the band finishes performing, the lead singer introduces the two girls as the kids of her friend. The old house manager is concerned because they are in a nightclub with a liquor license and adult entertainment. Two girls should not be inside a place like that. He emphasizes that the room is for authorized staff only. The drummer tells the bassist and the lead singer to leave the room as he kills his cigarette. Once they leave, the drummer offers a seat to the boss and tells the two girls to take off their clothes. The girls comply without hesitation, as the manager takes out his liquor flask to take a drink. The sea maidens take their clothes off, revealing their bare naked bodies with supple bosoms, but the different thing that makes these girls not regular females is the absence of their genitals. There is no sign of a crack on their bums as the drummer leads the girls to do a twirl. The drummer asks the blonde girl to bend down, nothing. He then instructs them to sit down and shows the area which their genitals are supposed to be in, but no signs of a reproductive organ smooth as Barbie dolls. The two girls look at the manager as the drummer gets a glass of water. He pours them on their legs and the girls' lower extremities begin to change into their tails. The manager is amazed and asks if they are real. The drummer suggests the manager see it for himself. He tells his boss about the slit on the tail of the blonde mermaid. Subsequently, in the lounge of the nightclub, the nightclub singer and the bassist leave backstage to witness a contortionist performing. They clap at her amazing performance. Meanwhile, the manager asks the two mermaids where they learned to speak Polish. The dark-haired siren said they learned the language at a beach in Bulgaria. Not long after, the figs and dates perform another song as another woman performs on stage to the song. She is dressed in lingerie which she uses to strip off showing her bare chest to the crowd as they clap their hands entertained. Then the boss signals for the singer to go to him. 
The band rush is to the room to find the two mermaids somewhat unconscious and dehydrated from being outside of the water too long. The lead singer tries splashing some water on them, but to no avail. The manager has thought of an idea and brings the two sea maidens to a pool. The bassist and the drummer carry them and drop their bodies in the swimming pool. They open their eyes, able to breathe again, and start swimming around the pool. Afterwards, the mermaids are back in their human form. The manager offers them breadsticks and they introduce themselves. The dark-haired woman is called Golden, while her sister, the blonde mermaid, is named Silver. The manager instructs the lead singer to bring them to the mall to shop for their clothes. They perform a musical number singing about a lot of things they see in the city. People around them dance as they try on new shoes and new clothes. Silver loses consciousness, and the bassist runs to her and helps her. Golden looks at them in disbelief. That night, the girls are in the backstage room. Golden watches as the bassist tries to get close to Silver. Golden communicates with Silver telepathically, asking her if she wants to hang out there before they go to America. Silver agrees. Golden then asks her what happens if Silver falls in love and will Silver be eating the man if it happens. Silver doesn't respond and just smiles. After they dress up in a costume, the lead singer in a blue captain suit while the two girls are wearing red flight attendant suits that can be zipped on the front. They make their way to the stage. The manager holds on to each member's waists one by one, kneeing their buttocks area for good luck. <coughs> Golden avoids it and does not want to be touched. <coughs> then the manager introduces the two girls to the crowd that welcomes them cheerfully with applause. The two girls sing back up and dance along the beat. Afterwards, they strip down and go inside a giant bowl filled with water. The crowd cheers as they witness the girls' lower extremities transform into tails. They continue singing as people clap in fascination. Then Silver and the bassist kiss, making Golden worried. After their performance, the lead singer kisses the two girls for a job well done while she smokes a cigarette. Silver smiles, but Golden just walks out. A man with a scar on his face sees Golden while he smokes. Soon later, in their apartment, Golden performs her own musical number about being lonely and dark tharts eating her up. She relaxes in the bathtub as a mermaid. One night, Golden goes to the bar and meets a bar patron. He motions to her and signals her and then leaves. Golden follows him, but the bonesir catches up to her and tells her that he's still hung up on her. Golden tells the man that she loves him, but shouldn't be telling anyone. She then proceeds to the car of the bar patron and they leave. Meanwhile, Silver tries to look for her sister around a dimly lit area in the nightclub. She goes through different doors calling for her sister. When she goes to the end of the hallway and finds a locked room, she peeks into the keyhole to find the lead singer giving head to a man. She is shocked at what she just witnessed and leaves. Subsequently, the car of the bar patron is parked near the sea. Golden turns into a mermaid and murders him, ripping his heart off. Afterwards, Golden, as a mermaid, gets out of the car and begins crawling back to the water, holding the man's heart in her mouth. Back at the nightclub, Silver calls the bassist, who introduces himself as Mitek, and leads him to the bathroom with a bathtub in it. Silver turns into a mermaid while in the water. She tells him to put it in. Mitek refuses her and tells her that he only sees Silver as a fish and not a woman. Silver removes a piece of scale from her tail and offers it to Mitek, telling him that he will be the world's first four-handed bass player. Mitek reaches for the scale, but Silver asks to be kissed first. Mitek does this and Silver starts singing to him, luring the bassist player to him. Silver sinks to the bottom of the tub. Mitek slowly dips his head on the water. Suddenly, they are in a bigger body of water. Silver swims to his captive and they smile at each other and begin kissing. The mermaid motions to Mitek lower extremity, making the bass player smile in pleasure. Minutes later, they return backstage where people have been looking for Mitek all over. They find that he and Silver are both soaking wet, 
Then they begin teasing him that he will grow a tail. Silver finds Golden and notice sees that she has blood on her lip. Golden smiles and tells her that it was a cow. The mermaids soon become their own act, the lure, with the band backing them. Everyone in the nightclub cheers and finds the two girls enticing as they perform. After their performance, they are introduced to the head of entertainment who congratulates them on their performance. Golden then meets Triton, a fellow sea creature and singer of a metal band, who informs her that if her sister falls in love and her love marries someone else, she will turn into sea foam. If she is to have her tail removed, she will lose her voice. The dark-haired mermaid leaves and she meets a female detective trying to interrogate her about the murder of the bar patron the other night. The detective takes Golden to her home and they have the most sensual encounter when Golden turns to a mermaid. The same night, while the lead singer and the drummer are doing it, the singer is fantasizing about the two mermaids sucking on her jugs. Not long after, when Golden's murder victim is discovered, the sister go to the room and begin fighting. Golden sings a song from their childhood and they quickly reconcile. Then the drummer punches Silver and Golden and it appears that they die. The bandmates roll their bodies in carpets and throw them into the river. But they return to the club, alive, and the band apologizes. Golden tells them that she is not mad and proceeds to bite off the thumb of the drummer, as a warning to never mess with them again. The next day, they have a photo shoot at the nightclub. They communicate telepathically as Golden warns Silver of her getting her tail cut and losing her voice. Silver believes it's all just superstition and threatens her sister that if Golden stops her, she will never show herself to her again. That night, Silver has her tail surgically replaced with a pair of legs to make Mitek love her back, but this makes her lose her singing voice. The next morning, she tries to sleep with Mitek with her new lower half, but the bass player is disgusted when she gets blood on him from her surgery scars. At the nightclub, the manager tells the band that Golden will sing solo, but she refuses to do so. Mitek later meets a woman in a recording studio. They begin making out and Mitek takes out the scale from his pocket and drops it on the floor, letting the water wash it away forever. Silver wakes up crying. One night, Mitek marries the woman she meets and the sisters attend the reception. Golden and Triton warn Silver that she must eat Mitek before daybreak or she will become seafoam. Morning arrives and Silver dances with Mitek. Golden watches as she waits for her sister to take a bite out of the human being who broke Silver's heart. But the blonde mermaid cannot bring herself to eat him, and she eventually turns into sea foam in his arms as the sun rises on them. The movie ends with a distraught Golden who jumps up on top of a completely confused Mitek covered in sea foam. The dark haired mermaid tears Mitek's throat out. Everyone sees Golden's face covered in blood as she returns to the ocean in full view of the entire wedding party. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like. It really helps the channel.